Welcome back to the channel guys and if you've been following the channel for the past couple of months or you know really it's probably been almost like six months um, you'll notice how much brim fishing I've been doing and um, I've really been focusing on a lot of light tackle fishing and I'm, I'm really enjoying it it's great fun um, you know like the brim fishing is actually quite technical and you know if you can really hone in catching uh, brim on lures you're really going to do well at a lot of other aspects of fishing because it teaches you so much but in this video today i've actually been really i've got a new rod to, to or new range of rods to show you guys and um you know I, I use a fair amount of gear and you know obviously only a tackle store i get to try a lot of a lot of different things out um but we finally got a new range of rods in that are really keen to show you guys and i've been waiting for these to come out for well Daiwa announced them last year and they kept getting postponed postponed from when they were going to come in but we finally have them and i'm super stoked to to give you guys a look at these because honestly i think these uh I think these are my favourite brim rods. I haven't I haven't even had a quick crack with one of these yet, but just in the hand, um, playing with them in the shop, just everything about these rods, they look absolutely epic. So um, stick around for this video, guys, because I'm going to give you a look at the all-new Daiwa Infeet SK series of rods. They've just landed in store, and I'm going to run you through all four of the models. So let's get stuck into it. Now, I'm sure if you do a bit of brim fishing yourself, you're probably going to be pretty familiar with one of these three ranges of rods. So these three are the Daiwa Infeet series. Now we have their, inf their standard 20 Infeet, their Infeet Z below, and their Infeet EX. Now these things have absolutely taken the brim fishing market by storm. And I would say Daiwa is producing some of the best brim rods on the market at the moment. The guys at Daiwa are designing this stuff, they fish, they know what anglers want, they know how to design the gear properly, and they really have produced you know, an outstanding product with their range of in-feet rods, and also with their in-feet in range of lures, because their lures are absolutely dynamite. But if you love fishing with these rods, and if you've been watching the channel, um, you'd see I've been using the Infeet EX a fair amount, and I absolutely love it. But if you're familiar with those rods, then you're gonna really need to check out one of these for yourself. And this is the all new Infeet SK. So we have the Skeleton Grip Infeet range. Now, honestly guys, these, out of all the rods that I've picked up, I, I, I really, I'm leaning towards this every single time. This is some of the, these range of rods is some of the best light tackle brim fishing rods I've picked up, I reckon. Um, they're ultra lightweight. They're super comfortable in the hands. I, like the skeleton grip on these things, like it just fits perfectly into your into the um, palm of your hand. It's extremely comfortable. It holds the reel well. It looks awesome. Um, they they really just have nailed this this range of rods um you know you match them up with a 2000 or a 2500 size reel and they're just they're just bloody epic i reckon the rods all feature titanium uh titanium stripper guides so ultra lightweight finesse guide and all the uh guides above the stripper are AGS guides. So if you've ever fished with a AGS rod before, you will notice just how sensitive they are. The, the, the guides themselves weigh absolutely nothing, but it's what you feel through the guide. And that's what's important because with these rods, you can feel your lure, you can feel your lure digging into the sand. You can feel it hitting rocks. You can feel a fish tapping it. It's Amazing just how sensitive that these AGS guides, I'm just gonna see if we can zoom in there. It's just amazing at how sensitive that these guides make the rod. And you know, it, it's really hard to explain. If you haven't fished with an AGS uh, guided rod before, then get, get one for yourself or try a friends or try and have a fish with one because you'll you'll become a better fisherman because you'll be able to feel a lot more through the rod but yeah all, all of the rods so that in this range of sk series there's four models there's two fast rods fast action rods which uh that's what the red signals that means it's a fast action blank and there is two slow action rods 
which is the blue bindings down the bottom here. So there's two models. We're going to quickly talk about each model in the range because they, they all have a particular um, usage and we'll, we'll have a bit of a chat about them and, and I just want to give you an overall look and a, a bit of my opinion on the rods. Let's look at the, the one that I think is probably going to be my favourite. Um, I, I, I find it a little bit difficult to pick between two of the models. I'm, I'm really, I have my heart set on the 722, but I really do like the 610. But we're going to start off with this rod anyway, because this is um, absolutely, it's a pleasure to hold in your hand. So the 610 is a fast action rod. So this thing here with the shorter length is ideal for throwing uh, small jerk baits and small hard body lures. Due to the faster action, this rod, you'll find this is going to be a lot easier to work the hard bodies and you'll get a, because it is quite, um, you know, slightly faster action and it is a little bit stiffer being the shorter rod, you'll find you're going to get a very good cast with this, with this rod. Um, great for throwing Sazanamis, great for throwing in feet spikes, um, anything where you need to cast a hard body and get a good amount of distance. The other thing that I think this rod is going to be very good for as well is fishing pylons, fishing jetties, something where you need a little bit more balls in the rod. Out of the, the four models, the 610 um, being the shorter and more stumpier rod of the, of the lot with the faster action, definitely is going to be very good for pulling fish out of structure. So um, even throwing a soft plastic hard into structure or a crank a crab hard into structure, I think you'll find this model will definitely be the one that you want to have a look at. Um, it's going to be a good rod, I think, just to keep in the, in the arsenal um, for, yeah, you know, pulling, pulling big fish out of, out of structure. Um, fast action, shorter length, six foot ten. Um, and they rate these at one to four kilo. It, it's a, a real nice one. Matches up great with a 2000 size reel. So that's the 610. So next up in the fast action rods, we're gonna look at the 732 ULFS. So the ultra light finesse. So this rod here is actually purposely designed to fish with metal blades. It is a bit longer and it is, um, Totally different to the 610 that we just looked at, but this thing here, if you're fishing the flats and, and drop-offs and you're casting blades, or even if you're casting a hard body a long distance, this rod is going to be the one. Um, it also is very good for throwing top water baits. So if you use bent minnows, sugar pens, um, slippery dogs, this rod here is definitely gonna be the one that you, you wanna have a look at. Um, again, a fast action rod, but the rod is it is a little bit lighter throughout the whole rod. So once it does actually load up, the rod loads quite into the, the, the base of the rod. Um, it's gonna absorb a lot of those head shakes. It's gonna be hard for a fish to spit the lure just because of um, how much this rod will absorb. It is rated at point 0.5 of a kilo. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this here, but it's rated at 0.5 of a kilo to three. So we can call it a one to three kilo rod. Again, this will match up really well. If you fish this with like four pound braid, um, this you, you will cast an absolute mile with this rod. Um, for me, I don't really fish with blades a lot and I don't really do a lot of top water fishing. So um, for my fishing, I'm probably not going to add this one to, to my kit. But um, if you do a lot of that top water fishing with bent minnows and you do a lot of fishing with blades, then this is definitely going to be one rod to check out. So that's the 732 ULFS uh, in feet SK. Now we'll have a look at the two slow action rods. Now we're on to the 702 ULFS ultra light rod. So seven foot long. Perfect distance for somebody fishing out of the boat. It's still good for fishing from shore because at seven foot, you still get a really good distance. But this particular rod is de designed specifically to be used with Daiwa Kadachi hard bodies. So the little 40 mil jerk bait, uh, hard body minnow. This is what that rod is. It's, it's actually designed specifically for that lure. And it does a really good job of casting that lure at distance and being able to work the lure. And with these slow action rods, you will notice just how different, if you, if you pick each one of these models up and you feel the fast action rods opposed to the slow action rods, 
completely different rod. You will notice it immediately in the hands. And the thing with these slow action rods is they're great for throwing hard bodies because they keep the trebles pinned in the fish. So if you've got a fish that's fighting, it's turning its head a lot, it's really shaking its head, the rod, rod absorbs a lot of that um, a lot of that, that, that shock and will actually keep those trebles pinned. So the 702, it, it is a really good, it's, it is an ultra light rod. So it is really good if, you, if you're gonna fish with you know, light four pound line and you're, you're, quite, um, you're quite gentle with your fish. Um, the rod loads completely different to the fast ones, like I was saying, and it actually loads right into the base of the rod. So the rod will absorb a, a, quite a lot of shock. But this one here, again, they rate it 0 0.5 to three kilos, uh, one to three kilo type of rod as, as we'd normally, uh, normally rate it. Um, and this one will cast, they rate this one up to five grams. So for most of your small hard bodies, this like uh, zip bait riggy 35s, um, you know, Daiwa Kadachis, SX40s, this rod here is definitely going to be a really good one to look at. Um, I, I, I can't really fault it. I think if you're fishing flats and you know you're fishing the Swan River a lot, um, definitely going to be you're going to have a lot of fun with this rod because it is it does load up quite nicely. But that is the uh, 702UL, what do we call it? the ULRS. Okay, so I've picked this one up and this is the 722 and I'm totally and utterly confused again as to what rod is my favorite because this rod, I really do like that 610, but I also really like this 722 and it suits my fishing to a T. Um, I like to throw hard bodies and I prefer a rod with a little bit of length and I prefer a rod that's slightly stiffer. So the 722 is designed um, it's pr it's pretty much like the 702, but it's it's just a bit of a beefier rod with a little bit more length. So if you prefer to throw a slightly larger hard body, maybe like an in feet spike 53 or a, even a 44, um, or just something with a little bit more weight, then the 722 is really going to be a good one for you. Um, it's still going to be really good for throwing plastics as well. Um, I like that extra length. I think 722, it's a, it's a great length for guys that are fishing from shore. You can use it out of the boat. You can, you can kind of do a bit of everything with this rod. And I think if you're going to pick just one rod to do it all, I think the 722 is probably going to be the best option for you. Um, they're rated one to four kilo. So it does have some stopping power. It's very light in the tip. Like you, you will definitely be able to throw um, smaller lures with this rod as well. I, I think really this is just probably the most versatile one out of the whole range. Again, you can see all the AGS guides. You know, they're just, these rods, really, they, they've nailed them. Like they, they, I, I think they really have nailed this range of rods. But the 722 guys, check this one out if you if you just want an all rounder that, that's gonna do everything. But anyway guys, that's the all new range of Infeet SK rods. They start at, well actually they're all 449. Um, there's four models in the range to choose from. Um, you know, just pick a rod that's suited best to your style of fishing, or if you're like me, pick a couple of them and add them to your kit and just give them a shot. But match any of these rods with a 2000 or a 2500 size reel. Um, you can check all the rods out at both of our stores. You can go to tacklewest.com.au and you can order them from there and we ship all across the country and we actually ship worldwide. But thanks for watching guys. And if you like the channel, subscribe to it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video.